So, so I go continually into a very strange um, I have this reoccurring operation or something and why I say it's an operation and it's not me I mean I'm the experiencer but I am continually um, what is the word? Oh, I like the way it shines. That's pretty cool. What are you doing? I think that it would not be difficult for people to be civil. Even in some of the most fucked up instances, you're given the opportunity to make amends and resume life and not do harm to each other. You know, most people can have that experience. But there's another there's another experience you can have. Whenever you marry the military industrial complex because you're partner is an instrument of said complex, you'll find it re-emerging from time to time. Now, as I went through looking at the free stuff, you know, it takes me out of my own area immediately. It's already wandered into Baytown. It's already wandered into League City, all these other areas that I lived with my ex. The name for contacting for these different things, clear evidence, name of the company that the father-in-law owned, operated, the name of the mom of the ex-wife. It's all there. It's all there. The name of the um, known last new fellow of the lady is there. And they continue to show the yellow G as if someone's giving away a yellow G. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Why did you download it? Every once in a while, I just need to look. And what did you find? Psychological operations? See, I don't think any of that is real. I don't. I think the only thing that's real in that, and this is a continued experience, is that you're still being observed and made to be the fool. Yet there is no real communication between this entity source and you. Because like I said, you're food to them. You don't have an opportunity to correct yourself. You will always be shown in the negative light. They will be showing you. Well, how could they get into that position if they don't even, if you don't even talk to them? That's a funny one, ain't it? Real fucking funny, huh? Now, one time, this is real. This really happened on one of the weird Amazon Prime um, TV movies or whatever the fuck you call them. I don't think it, it might not have been that. It might have been YouTube. 
I'm not entirely sure. But there's a whole movie based upon... But this is for real. This is the... This is what it was. It was an exact copy of my own experiences with my ex. Except now they are making a TV show and trying to like sneakily harm the person without them knowing. They're doing shit they make a point to make their group what they're doing is revenging upon you. And I discovered it. I was like, I don't, you know, this isn't healthy. Obviously, it's not healthy. It's not. You know, I, tr I do not focus and I do have time to time real human problems and emotional wounding in the remembering shit that happened to me. But I'm not in the uh, I'm not in the collection the uh, attempt by no means am I trying to forward that. I don't focus on it. I don't want to show it I already learned uh, how fucking harmful someone can be to your own reputation just saying shit it's true I said some fucked up shit on Facebook one time that I shouldn't and I don't even think it was like entirely hateful but it was definitely something that happened and why it was so suspect to me I should have kept my mouth shut I probably would have if I could go back and redo it I don't really want to cause harm I don't want to make her fucking get her payback. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. I can almost 100% guess, and probably am correct, that the, um, the family structure, which, mind you, is in bed with the deep state, because they use all their girls for prostitution purposes. I mean, not it doesn't always have to be money. But it's definitely a campaign to exploit using the, uh, the women. And they're all very deeply by control, and, and they're done it very early on. Now, what I mean when I say mind control... It's probably needing some explanation. They don't want you to do something in here in that family? Then you'll be punished and disincentivized. We don't like you talking to him on the phone. Then they'll just treat you like shit, so you won't do it. You'll stop uh, relating to this person. And you're like, well, that's, that's, not, that's not right. You have the right as a dad to have dot, dot, dot with your kids. No. I, as a dad, get to pay half my money blindly to child support. Out of my money, I get paid for assisting my dad. What? All the money that I make and have myself... The other person gets it when I get it, assuming they still are still alive. So, and I tried to reach out and make it available, uh, create a pathway. Even my dad did. 
and I don't know. Since my relationship with my dad couldn't be harmed by uh, them relating and communicating to my dad, they do. They do try. They do try to uh, oust me for my place with my dad. I mean, not very successfully, obviously, but you can definitely see that in no way is there an opening for fixing anything. Not going to happen. Now, when I realized that was the reality, I had already endured way more than normal of losing both somebody that I, I loved and cared about. I don't, they're no longer there. I lose the ability to bring closure to my own self by knowing you have somebody in limbo that's like your wife and it feels like they they have her trapped somewhere or something so it's a continuing re-triggering now when the re-triggering occurs then everything is set up already for the harvest what is the harvest well they're collecting something from your human person emotions that's related to your memories and they're still using it as a power source to their present moment wherever it's at and they do this by I don't know, it's like continuing to harm someone and you know what you're doing. And before you do it, you imagine or you try to relive your trauma so that you can gain the ability to overcome that script and write something in. But writing something in It's not going to, it's not going to really cut it. And they will not speak. They will not communicate with me. I used to get some back and forth from the mother-in-law. But over the past year, I have not engaged with her and gotten any responses. Not to say that the mother doesn't care or whatever the actual thing you're dealing with. It never engages with you. But it actively continues to spy on you appear where it shouldn't be because then you could be reminded and then when you relive in your emotional body a horrible experience you um you continue you continue to re-traumatize your own self and it, I don't I don't even know if when the same names appear of the family. This happened recently with um, some weird religious card that was uh, in the mail. You know, one of these religious organizations or churches or whatever they actually are, which is probably not what I'm talking about. Because it is, it's something else. 
that something else is very skilled and elaborate in doing what it's doing. And it's not allowing there to be you. Because you have to dialogue and you have to be able to apologize when you've hurt someone. Now, I don't think that's too wild of a situation to exist because it does. And there, there was a lot of it. Actually, I couldn't believe it before it was all. said and done. And I don't know. On one hand, I think, well, you know, that's just because of mind control, actually, a very advanced mind control that hasn't slept in days, hasn't ever slept. It doesn't have the freedom to take you off the hood, which is also a another brand of weird story that you can find. Why would you want to see something like that? Well, because you see something like that and you identify with it, you then have the opportunity to dot, dot, dot. Which is, I mean, that's okay because that's the way it is. But it really only goes to prove that There's very strong emotions, more than in normal situations, a lot more. And they're plugged into it because you're seeing their family's names in these different um, lists of shit that people want and aren't going to get. That's all I can say.